So one of the questions which gets asked is that how can I benefit from commodities or even that what can I do in commodities or why should I do commodities. Now the commodity market interestingly is made up of essentially uh, four types of participants. The first is traders which is people who are actually just getting into the market, taking calls on the direction of the market and moving out. Then there are hedgers. Hedgers are people who are real participants in the market. So for example, there's a company which is producing gold or copper or uh, you know wheat, then they can use this market to hedge. Then there are arbitrages. Arbitrages hedge their product in one sense, but actually they are arbitraging. They buy in one market and they sell in another market and they profit from the difference in price, which is a legitimate economic activity. And uh, finally, there are investors. So, people who invest in commodities look at it as an asset class and they, uh, they buy it, they hold it, and then the price goes up, they sell it. And they take a position essentially saying that the price is actually going to move up from here. But today I'm going to talk to you about trading. You know, how, why, what are the reasons, what are the benefits of trading in commodities compared to let's say equity or currency or uh, any other trading asset class which is available. So under trading, I would say that there are several advantages. And those advantages, the first one which comes to mind is price discovery is transparent. So trading I would say in commodities, firstly is transparent. Transparent means that all of it is happening on the future screen on our uh, recognized stock exchanges and you can see it's, it's, uh, there is no buddy who is controlling the prices, the prices are put by the people who are participating and in that sense it is completely transparent and it's a very fair price discovery. The second advantage which I see is that there is large scale participation. So when there is large scale participation it is impossible to fix the price or force it to move in a particular way. The large scale participation ensures that it is this, it's secular and nobody can corner the price or make it go up or down on their whim. It is based on uh, information flow and which is I would say the third point which is the secular information flow. So this information which is there is available to everybody. There is no concept of proprietary information in this. So in the sense that if, if something happens in Iraq, then everyone gets to know it together. And you will see that because of that, if supplies are getting hit, then the price of crude oil would go up or the price of gold would go up. So this information is available to everybody at the same time. Which is unlike in certain other asset classes where you could have or you probably you generally have some proprietary information which makes the market unequal for all players. Then there is liquidity. And there's a very interesting reason why this market will always is and will always be liquid uh, compared to any other asset class. So let's take the example of, uh, you know, again crude oil. Now uh, frequently people say that there is probably not enough depth in the Indian market. But at, at one level this is not relevant because even if somebody comes and actually sells a lot of crude, the crude price which is there on the screen which you see here is simply the dollar price in, in crude, the global dollar price multiplied by the exchange rate. So even if somebody sells a whole lot of crude here, within seconds there will be buyers at the correct price. So it doesn't really matter how much you sell or how much you buy the price which is linked to any global standard will actually remain at that level. Uh, then one big advantage here is round the clock trading. So when you have round the clock trading, you know you don't, you can trade if the market start at 10 a.m. in the morning and they trade till almost midnight. So you can actually do this, you don't need to do it during office hours, you can do it in the evening. If you have time during the day, you can do it during the day. But importantly for those who are trading global commodities, the markets actually start moving in the evening which is when the global markets in uh, London and US for example when they open and that's when the real action comes in. So there's a double benefit in doing this. And finally what I consider the real good reason to do this is that you need to master only three or four commodities. Now you know unlike 
most of our assets where there might be many items in which you might do learn and know. In this, you could choose, for example, gold, copper, and crude, the most liquid contracts which are there. And there are these fixed number of uh, factors which affect the price of that. And therefore, one simply goes out, understands the factors, tracks the factors using the secular information flow which is even there on the internet, and you will get a fairly good idea about how the markets are moving. After that, for uh, uh, you know real minute-to-minute -minute information, you can also call your broker's research desk, and uh, you know, they will update you with what is the uh, last second information, and based on that, you can make your trading calls. So I think with all of this, I would say that uh, trading in commodities compared to another asset class is, uh, you know, it's, it's a very good place to be.